hi. This feels a little weird, but um, I've resisted doing these live videos because I feel like they're not very accessible and I've wanted to do keep things as accessible as possible. But what I'm going to do is after I record this, I'm going to download it and then upload it into YouTube so that I can get the captions for my deaf friends. So I was really inspired by Pauline's um, video on being shaped by disability that she put out today. Check it out. It's in one leg productions and I'll put the link in the um, the actual feed piece. But one day it, she's, she's talking about what shapes our disability experience or the experience of our lives that we're living with disabilities. And it's a great topic because this is Disability Pride Month and it's also the 30th anniversary of the ADA. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit at a time, probably daily, um, just little snippets about, um, about my own life, um, living with a few disabilities as well as being a mom of kids who have disabilities different from my own. So the first thing, probably basics, is, is just talking about what my disabilities are. So when I was four, I went through the windshield of a car. Now, I don't know if you can see these scars, but they go through my head here, and it goes all the way up. And my lip here is torn in two when I was, when I was four, through the windshield. And um, I've had some scar revision surgery, so a whole chunk of scar tissue was taken out um, when I was 18 and so it's and then they tried to sew my eyebrow back together again and so that was really the first thing that happened to me was um, that traumatic you know brain injury from having my head shut through the windshield of a car and um, and then all the scar stuff was very very much a reality because you know you start school your face is covered with scars it's it's a big deal um and then what happened was i went we moved to fiji when i was seven and in fiji my scars and all of this stuff they it was a non really it wasn't anything it was the color of my skin that the fact that i was so white and everyone in fiji wasn't so 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 the scars went, you know, on hold for a while. And then I had these Coke bottle, really super thick glasses. And, and that was, you know, the big deal. Then after that, um, my hearing started going. My hearing was getting progressively worse. And I, I got my first pair of hearing aids behind the ear, big bubba's when I was 11. And that was still in Fiji. So that was another kind of big deal. And, and that kept getting worse. My hearing's gotten worse and worse and worse. And um, to the point where, you know, I take out my hearing aids, I can't hear anything. So, so f you know, first it's just the brain injury and, and it's the, the scars and it's not being able to hear. And then, um, and then over time I've had compounded um, trauma, which leads to this complex post-traumatic stress disorder, CPTSD which in effect, it looks a lot like um, bipolar disorder. So for a while, I really didn't know what I had, what was going on, like, you know, is this bipolar or what? I didn't know. Um, but then it became very clear that it was CPTSD. So it's nice to just, you know, know. So I think that's, that's all I'm gonna talk about right now, just because um, my daughter and my son are um, shaking things up inside and I don't know how bad it is. I should go inside and check on them. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's the first step is, is, is these are my disabilities. I have, um, TBI, traumatic brain injury, although it's been a long time. And so I know that, um, that my experience is very different from people who just acquired their brain injury, like recently, because I grew up with mine. So a lot of my accommodation pieces and a lot of the aspects of my life are just normal for me. I'm, I'm used to it. It's the same thing for hearing. I mean, I'm so used to not being able to hear stuff that I have a huge array of, of accommodation pieces.
CPTSD is a little different because it is newer. It is something I'm still getting used to. Triggers and things like that are, um, they can be challenging. So, yeah. Um, so the hashtag for this one, um, Pauline has it set up and it's, the hashtag is shaped by disability. And if you have your own disability stories, it'd be super awesome to record them here on the live. And if you're able to download it and then upload it into YouTube to get the captions on it, um, that would be great. I know I'm going to definitely try to do that just so that this is more accessible. And is that it? Oh, there's people on here. Wow. This is kind of cool. It's my first time doing this. Hi. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go. I don't know what you're doing. Bye.